My name is Beth, and this is my aha moment. I work for a chamber of commerce, a large chamber of commerce in Central California. Over the last seven years, I have attended or run or been to or been a part of almost 2,000 networking activities, business networking activities. And my friends, my colleagues, the people I work with, the people who I've seen over and over started calling me a networking guru, queen of networking, networking empress, all these kind of things. And it bothered me. It, and it took me a while to figure out why that bothered me. So my aha moment was that when you say somebody's a guru or the queen of or the empress of, that means they're out front saying, oh, everybody follow me. I'm the, the great one who only has all the knowledge and you all have to follow me. But that's, that's not how networking works. It doesn't work that way. It's a connected group activity. There's no one person who's the center of it or, or who leads it all. You really have to decide what kind of a leader you are. You have to decide, am I the kind of leader who sits up at the top of the ladder and dictates down to people below you or that you think are below you? Or are you gonna be, sometimes I've heard it called servant leader, I like to call it a motivator because you're not telling people what to do, you're just encouraging them. That's the kind of leader I wanna be. That was the really big aha moment for me that I didn't wanna be trying to tell people what to do. I wanted to be behind them, encouraging them to do things that they probably wanna do, they were just a little nervous about or not sure about.